First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word. And truth is sincerity and peace. Blessings and healings on to the elect. Because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I just want to talk about the uh, tornadoes that happened in Texas and New Orleans. You know, Yahweh and the one that's doing all these things. You know, let me get a quick scripture. This is Amos 3 and 6. How the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh and the have not done it? You know, God forbid, basically. Okay, because he is the one that's doing all this. So... You know, I want to play some of these videos, and then uh, I'm going to get some more scriptures on this. First tonight, breaking news. The spring storm system that caused a tornado outbreak in Texas yesterday is now triggering more tornadoes as it moves through Louisiana. This is a twister that touched down and caused extensive damage tonight in New Orleans and the Lower Ninth Ward. Listen to some folks calling their loved ones on the phone as they watch that tornado head right towards them in the distance. Right now, it's okay. Oh my God, she's, it's passing. You're passing, you're passing. Oh, you're through, you're through. You're through you're, it, Are man. you okay, you're safe? You're okay? Okay, you're through. It just passed. Yeah, we'll show you the video. I love y'all, I'm glad you're it's safe. It's in no man's it is, land. It is off into the marsh. It's heading to the east now. Y'all are totally clear. You're Boy, that is just terrifying, especially when these tornadoes hit at night and you can't see many of them before it is too late. Our sister station, WWL-TV, is in continuous coverage right now. This is one of their first crews on the scene of the damage in Araby, where damage is widespread. Large trees are down along with power lines and light poles. Search and rescue teams are going through the area trying to see if anyone is hurt or trapped. That same line of storms causing plenty of damage all across Texas. This is Crockett, a couple of hours north of us, where the National Weather Service says an EF2 tornado. That's winds up to 135 touchdown. And um, I got some more videos. This is um, from Twitter. I got a couple from Twitter, so let me play these real quick. Man, that's crazy. I just really was this close to death. I was just driving in the tornado just now. They had two explosions went off. I see boo shit just swarming and spinning, spinning around. You heard me? I make the U-turn right here and go clean towards the city. You heard me? Man, that's crazy. God is good. 
for you niggas don't believe in God, y'all better start leaving in God. This shit is real. It's not a game. It's not a game. I, I just was in this shit. Thank the Lord none of us was hurt. I'm here to talk about it. Man, that's crazy. Man, got no power, no nothing, no houses back though. So like it says in Amos 3 and 6, man, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? And Yehabashim and have not done it? Basically, God forbid. Surely Yehabashim and will do nothing but reveal of his secret unto his servants, the prophets, because Yehabashim and controls everything that happens that's good and everything that happens that's bad. Okay, point blank, period. You know, and uh, especially storms, you know. And um, a lot of people like to say, well... Um, it's harp and shit, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the Lord controls them too. He controls good and evil. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of Yehabashim as Shai of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of divine fire, forest fires, storm and tempest, hurricanes, tornadoes, great noise, you know, earthquakes, thunder, you know, everything, man. Yeah, how about Shemesha? You know, especially now, man, because everything that's been happening on the earth, lockdowns, inflation, famines that's coming, pestilence, more pestilences that's coming. So, you know, it's really not going to turn down. Nothing's, it's, the, the earth, everything that's going to happen on the, it's not going to turn down until your house shot returns. It's going to be more tornadoes, more hurricanes, more tsunamis, more earthquakes, more food shortages, more um pestilences you know what i'm saying just more you know everything that you can imagine you know is going to be on 10 man until your house shot returns this is isaiah 28 and 2 behold the lord have a mighty and strong one which has a tempest of hell and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with thou hand man you know so that's why it's in your best interest to repent. Because like I say in every video, if you turn back to your house by some and you repent, he'll put a hedge of protection around you. You know, but if but if you don't have a hedge of protection around you, then these tornadoes will just go to you, kill you. Uh you just you you'll just be in predicaments where you won't have a he you won't be safe. You know. And that's why you want to repent and turn back to the Lord because you know, your house by some you know, it's it, it ain't no game, you know. What, what is that scripture? It is a fearful thing. This is Hebrews 10 and 31. It says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. You know, especially when he got these judgments coming down. Tornadoes and all these. You know, you don't want to be on your how about some Mishai's hit list. He'll bring a whole tornado down to your city just to get you, man. This is Nahum 1. And three, it says, God is awesome at the top. It says, Yehabashim Meshah is slow to anger and great in power and will not all acquit the wicked. Yehabashim Meshah have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He have his way. He rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry. He drieth up all the rivers. Bahashan languisheth and caramel and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. The mountains quake at him and the hills melt. And the earth is burned at his presence, yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? Nobody. And who who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? Nobody. His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Yehabashim is good, and a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Okay? So Yehabashim is a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knoweth them that trust in him. These storms, he'll get your neighbors and not you if you turn back to him. But in overflowing flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against Jehovah Shemeshah? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up at the second time. Okay? So you want to be in Jehovah Shemeshah's good graces. Okay? That's why. You want to repent and turn back to the Lord because, man, especially now, man, we, we at the end and you only going to see shit turn up from here, point blank, period. You know, there ain't no other easy way to put it. 
you know, you have a bunch of that's going to, all this, all this stuff that's happening on the earth, it's basically just going to turn up, man. You know, let me get a, my last scripture real quick. Sirach 39. I just want to read this. Sirach 39 to 28. It says, there are spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So you can put tornadoes in there, hurricanes, you know, everything, man. Tifa wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So, yeah, how about some shot? Got all these judgments coming down on the earth to punish the wicked. Like I said, famines, pestilences, storms, fires. This, uh, like I said, it's Tifa wild beast. The sword is the modern day weapon. Somebody come kill you with a gun. Yeah, how about some shot controls them too? You know, so, hey man. Like it says in 27, all these things are for good to the godly. So the sinners, they are turned into evil. And y'all, people that do evil and don't care, don't feel any pity, don't, y'all through, man. So double honors unto the elders and apostles of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And he.